Hey guys, currently in Bogota right now. I made it last night and I had a 20 hour layover. So I'm like, let me get a hotel and get some rest in before this adventure starts. So I'm about to leave to the airport to connect to um, Cartagena and then everything will begin. So see you guys when I get there. <laughs> Cartagena and I'm with my girl Derica. Hi guys. <laughs> Y'all might remember her from us going like traveling the world pretty much together. <laughs> Dubai, Trinidad, Trinidad Egypt, uh, yeah. where else? Tanzania. Tanzania and um, South Africa. Oh yeah, and South Africa. So we on another trip. We're waiting for one more person. She comes in tomorrow, but we're about to turn up, get lit, and go explore the city. But <laughs> what? <laughs> Our time yeah. off. <laughs> to start our time off, we got a beer. It's a local beer. What is this called? Ang Anguilla? Anguilla? Cerveza. S yeah. So we're going to try this. You guys know I like to try a local beer. So let's pop it. <laughs> it might have a little kick to it. Yeah, like all beer. It tastes the same. Yeah, with yeah. all beer, but it's really refreshing when it's hot outside, okay? But I'm gonna show you guys the Airbnb tomorrow when we actually get some light in here, but it's really, really cute. Derica found all the spots. I pretty much just joined her on this trip. <laughs> all right, guys, so I got pasta, and this is chicken and mushroom. I recently became a mushroom lover, and Derica got, that looks good too, almonds, parmesan, sun-dried tomatoes and blue cheese and blue cheese Ooh. taste test it's good it has a lot of flavor Got some drinks and got some food and it was really good. It seems like the party don't stop out here. Even though it's like only 12 o'clock. But we're on this really cute street right now. They have a bunch of different flags. So like it looks like almost every flag. That's it's so really what it it's so like. cute. They got the Jamaica flag, they got the Guyana flag, South Africa. So cute. Good morning everybody. So it is day two in Colombia, well in Cartagena. I just wanted to show you guys our room real quick.
y'all good morning so we are headed to breakfast even though it's like lunch now we got a good sleep in um, we're going to a place called cafe stepping stone they have like vegetarian options since my girl is vegetarian well look, you eat seafood too yeah so you're pescatarian. like pescatarian Whew. it's very very hot out here okay I need some sunscreen on. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get real, real dark out here. But anyways. You always, it, and you tan so gracefully. I know. It's like a beautiful tan. <laughs> Thanks. I but, look like burnt toast. I looked so burnt when we came home. No, you didn't. Again. I was like five shades darker, which I don't mind. I like it darker, but I wanna be even. <laughs> you get even tan, I don't. I think I'm gonna get garlic mushrooms on the side. I'm just obsessed with mushrooms now. But I don't know what else. Hey, don't mind me. Um, I have braids underneath this, so I'm just trying to let it set for a little longer, and then I can take it off. All right, guys. So I got a mojito. Cheers, Derica. Cheers. <laughs> to yet another successful trip. Ooh, y'all, we got our food. So I got smashed avocado and toast um, with fried egg and some sauteed mushrooms. It looks so freaking bomb. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm finally like dressed up now. Kind of got ready for some pictures. I'm on our balcony right now. We want to take some like cool pictures out here. So I kind of like know the look that I'm going for. So I have like my little door knocker earrings on i want to be like to the side i want my earrings to show i want my like collarbones to show and i'm wearing this like little cute two-piece set from i think it's from boohoo and then i just put my hair up into this half style so we'll see how long this hair lasts but i don't think it's gonna last long because it's so humid so i'm probably gonna have to go inside until it's like the until it's time to take the pictures because my hair is just gonna probably frizz up but it's so beautiful out here i love it it's like giving me old charm it reminds me of um south africa like bocap street and like the little streets that they have with like the colorful buildings and the artwork and stuff it also kind of reminds me of italy um it reminds me of brazil so it's really really nice vibes out here just the scenery is just everything okay guys we got a new member daisha's finally here and we're about to pop some champagne oh, there we go. Derica got some rosé for $22 <laughs> yeah 22 USD Oh, we all got glasses? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. I can't remember, I've been popping my collar, I've been popping my <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are we toasting to? Colombia, another successful trip. We all went to, we met in South Africa, and then we all just went to Dubai together. So, yet another Cheers successful another trip. trip. Cheers, Colombia, 2019. Okay guys, so we just booked our tour for the Pink Sea tomorrow. Unfortunately, because it's rainy season, she said it's not gonna be that pink like when she's seen the photos and stuff like that, but y'all know we can just Photoshop that, make it a little pinker than it is. 
But I'll show you guys tomorrow like the real real because what you see on Instagram is not always what she is not always reality pretty much. So we're gonna go there tomorrow at 1 30. But right now we are gonna go eat some food and I just cannot get enough of these streets. It's so gorgeous. Okay guys, so we're supposed to go to this rooftop bar. We can still go there after for like drinks or whatever. But I decided to come to Lolita's bar. I seen it on the way and I'm like, this looks fancy. This looks bougie. So this is where we are now. The food looks really, really good. So what's the Wi-Fi? Oh, thank Hello, you. Hello, Lola. Hello. Hello. Oh, Lola. Hello. Hey, hey, hello, so yeah, this is where we are now, but the food looks... I see some fish that I might want, or some salmon. Y'all know I love my salmon. But, yeah, starving. This is fancy. <laughs> What's your name, sorry? Nestor. 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 Nestor, okay. Thank you. Mmm. Y'all, look at this food. So I got the salmon. They should got the. They should got the fried. Uh, what is it again? Red snapper. Oh yeah, red snapper. Looks so good. Ooh. Alright, y'all. So I quickly want to show you guys my outfit of the night. I didn't get to show you guys the green outfit I was wearing earlier, but I'll insert pictures. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it, so I just went for a maxi dress. Um. Yeah, this looks like this. Super cute and comfortable. I got this from Lulu. It's actually really adorable. And it's giving me Colombiana vibes. But yeah, y'all, that food was really, really, really good. I paid 42 US dollars. I got a full bottle of champagne. I got a full meal. I got salmon and some other stuff. And $42. Like $42 is usually a bottle in the US or like, like in Canada, so or even more than that. So we go about a steal and the food was delicious. So highly recommend to come here. Um, I will obviously link all the places that I went to yeah, like on the screen. But I know there's like a lot of artwork, um, a lot of graffiti everywhere, and it's just really, really pretty. Like the architecture is really nice. But I think we might stop to get something to eat first. Let me look at this GPS. Still straight. I highly recommend if you come to any country, you get their SIM card. So you just want to make sure that your phone is unlocked so that way you can use um, your phone wherever you go. And it's a lot cheaper, unless you have free internet. Um, everywhere you go, but wherever whenever I go somewhere and I know I'm gonna need like GPS and all that I usually get a sim card It's so lively out here. I love it I'm pretty sure we're in Wall City right now It is so hot outside. Oh my gosh, I didn't think it was gonna be this hot. Well, I did look at the weather It said like 30 degrees to like 35 but it had like clouds and everything but it's sunny it's hot I think it might be this way we're headed to a restaurant what is it what was it called again la mulata so this is where airbnb host told us to go la mulata
everybody's dying. Look at my tits. They're like glistening right now. Uh, feels so good right at the back of my neck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So guys, I'm using my app. It's called iTranslate. It looks like this right here you do have to pay for it but i feel like if you're going to another country it's worth it because i can literally take a picture of um you know whatever i want or like of the menu and it will tell me everything in english so let's do it right now so i just go to lens and then i'm gonna take a picture so i just took the picture and then now you can see that it's like popping up so that let's go to right here now it's telling me exactly what it is it says mussels guacamole coconut rice in sauce pesto it's legit y'all it's legit look at my food it looks so good so delicious all right so i'm gonna dig in and let you guys know how it tastes i cannot forget the hot sauce y'all so we just made it to the pink sea <laughs> however because it's rainy season it's not that pink the lady warned us before we booked our tour that it wasn't gonna be that pink she said it's gonna be more of like a tan maybe brown color it's pink yeah it looks pink to me the pink sea y'all look at my hair right now this humidity is just getting to it, bruh. So I don't re exactly remember what he said about um, why the water turns pink. I know he said something about some microorganism and then once it reaches, I think it was 20 degrees, um, it turns the water pink. And he said it was like the size of a shrimp, but y'all that kind of went past my head and I can't really retell that story to you guys, but you can definitely probably look it up on Google and find out why. And I'm definitely gonna go do that again because I think this is pretty, pretty cool. So I'm about to dip my feet in. A lot of people say that it dries out your skin, but we'll see. Ooh. No, it's warm. Yes. This water is warm. He did he did say it was 20 degrees, I think. Me imagino tus labios, pero en otra mujer. Por más que quiera la distancia no se acaba ¿Qué haría si tus manos volvieran otra vez? O si el amor que un día te tuve fuera más grande que las nubes Fuera más grande que las nubes Otra vez, tú te vas Sabes que nuestra relación no va para ningún lugar
Hey guys, what's up? So today is day four here in Cartagena. Well, right now we're actually outside of Cartagena. We decided to do a tour um, with the real, experience the real Cartagena. And it is a black owned company, black owned business. It's a family who runs it. And honestly, they are so amazing. One of the guy's daughters is actually a subscriber of mine. She, sh she reached out to me and told me to do a tour with them. And y'all, experience is A1. So right now we're in the community of Palenka. So Palenka was started by um, some of the Africans who were enslaved here in Cartagena. They ran away and made their own community. They built it behind a hill so they could, um, I guess, hide from like the Spaniards and stuff like that. So when they came, they knew they were coming. They could set traps and everything like that. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool to learn about. I like real experience in teaching you guys this. I'm just trying to remember what I learned. And I love the guy's shirt, y'all. I gotta show you guys a shirt. It says, let a black man teach you the black history. And I'm like, that's A1. I'm getting that for Brian. It's so bomb. But anyways, I'm so excited to learn more. Um, we just met another loco and he taught us some of the Bantu language. So, y'all, the people here are beautiful. It's so beautiful here. And, like, look at the background. I love it. So gorgeous. You should know that, you know, we're the same people. Actually, you know, if we walk around the community, you will see people that look like you or people that look like some one of your relatives back home. And so welcome to Palenque and enjoy your stay. How we thank say you. thank you. Glass. Glass. Or, or Bugunga. Glass. Or Bugunga. 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 The Colombian government finally passed a law to kind of find a way for, to give reparations to the Afro Colombians. We, we didn't get the 40 acres in the mule. <laughs> But we got, you know, a uh, title to the land. You know what I mean? So people, some people were able, to, especially communities like this, where we have 100% Afro-Colombians, you now, you know, have title to the lands. And that only came official in 2012, after 1993 when they passed the law. And actually, we knew President Obama was coming. Beautiful thing. So we demanded from the Colombian government that we would sit with President Obama to talk about our issues. You know what I mean? So, in 2012, we had the Summit of the Americas, 32 presidents, North, Central, South America. President Obama was here. We had a meeting with President Obama to talk about issues, you know, for Afro Colombians. And of course, because the United States is supporting Colombia with money, you know, financial and military aid, we say, you know, we don't get any benefit from the government, you know, from this money coming from the U.S. So, President Obama made sure that Afro Colombia would get supported. That was tiring, guys. <laughs> Jeez. Eh, buenos días, good morning. Welcome to our land, Palenque. And this is the land of uh, people like you, brothers and sisters. And this is a school of music and dance, Batata. Today we want to show you some of the typical dances that we have here in our
is the time to give back. But we're going to do a dance with joy, showing that we care. <laughs> a great experience man i had so much fun okay y'all so i'm about to try something called yucca cake it looks like this good you try it good it has like a a bit of sweetness to it man riding the horse he had control over it and everything he made it stop wow place is called remember I don't know but I'll insert it right now but it's so freaking cute in here it's like really really colorful and stuff so we had the option to get chicken fish and vegetarian and pork and most of us got the fish option I was gonna get the chicken because I didn't know what type of fish it was but whatever Ooh, got a nice beer cold beer Club Columbia so Oh, I didn't even realize it was open. Anyways, I had a great freaking experience. Highly recommend to um, check out the real, what is it called? The real Cartagena experience. They're amazing. Y'all, this food looks so good. So we got a whole fish, coconut rice, plantain, and 
a little salad. So bomb. Okay guys, so we just got back from our tour. It ended about maybe like four, like four o'clock and we are headed to Walled City now. Um, we were here the other day, but we only got to do like a breakfast or brunch. So we decided to come back and explore more and we just want to see what's around. So we got back at a good time and super excited to explore the city. Well, explore Wall City. And I really want to see the dark-skinned women who carry around the fruit. And you see like all these pictures all over Instagram. Because um, after going to Palenka, we learned that most of those women are actually from Palenka. So now we know. Palenka ladies, they were about to scrap. <laughs> they got in a fight over some money. I don't know what was happening. But it was, I was pretty scared because I'm just like, I was scared to ask them for fruit. I was scared to ask them for a picture because they were just screw face and everything. But they were sweet overall. But they're, they're about their money, I'm just saying. As soon as I took my picture, they're like, money, money. I was gonna pay y'all. So our friend that we met earlier in the Wall City, like the main part, told us to come to this spot called El, Comico. El Comico. I don't know how to say it properly, but um, it's supposed to be really nice. They're, they're supposed to have like the best cocktails ever, so we're gonna see what happens, and we're gonna head in there. All right, guys. So we are at how do you say this? El El Comico. El Comico. Probably butchering that, but it's so beautiful in here. There are three levels and all have different cocktails and music. So I got the Omasha drink. It has um, passion fruit, red wine, a pineapple, um, rum, and some other drinks. It looks so good. Guys, we are on drink number three. And I'm kind of lit right now. I am. She is. <laughs> I'm about to get drink number four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Drink number cuatro. She said cuatro. She said cuatro. <laughs> So it is the last day in Cartagena. We are leaving now to the airport and going to Medellin. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'll see you guys all in Medellin. I love you guys.
just wanna.